Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy James the Air Circle back to another video today. In this video, we are going to be talking about, or actually I guess I should rather say, this video is going to serve as my open but also personal letter to Mr. Ratbeard himself. And I know that sounds kind of weird to say, but this is all premised around PvP and where the game has gone over the course of 2021 and kind of the dangerous path that I see it taking, not necessarily dangerous, but the scary path, right? In terms of, you know, bringing players back and making the game as fun, and I wanna say that with emphasis, fun, as it, you know, as fun as PvP can possibly be. You know, cause I think there's a difference between uh, something being, you know, technically good or technically balanced or you know technically better and a difference between something being fun because this is a children's card game where the targeted majority is mostly people under 18 and not everybody under 18 wants to play very technical strategy like game which is where i see this game kind of going um now, yes, there is strategy, you know, involved when it comes to PvP, but I, I see this game getting so technical and so, like, you know, fine-tuned to the point where I don't really see people coming back to PvP with the changes that have just been rolling out, and I see us eventually falling into this vortex of perpetual, you know, additions that eventually create more problems for other levels of pvp and other areas of the of the game and ultimately they might never see the light of day with a fix so the very first thing that i need to touch upon is the direction that the game is heading in and then i'm going to kind of shift off of that and talk about uh how far the game has come and lead into what i think needs to be gone back on and fixed before we proceed because the, you know, as I said before, the perpetual vortex of adding new things to the game when the silent majority can't voice, you know, loud enough the things that need fixing before we proceed with adding more things to the game. Things that create problems in other areas, you know, areas that might not have a lot of people to complain and stuff like that. So, um, basically the direction that the game is heading in is one of like super technicality. And, you know, while that might be good in your head, Ratbeard, I'm going to propose that maybe Ratbeard's Endgame PvP, which is what you ultimately foresee needs to happen to PvP, might not be the best outcome for PvP itself. We are going to talk about later in this video the crit and block system, damage caps, some of the additions that have been added to the game that have been creating problems in other areas, and then fast forward to where we are now um where you know jading is absolutely ruining the game and then there is the whole steel ward situation and i posted about this on twitter right pause the screen real quick if you want to read all of it um basically kind of elaborating about this in this video but i don't think that a lot of the solutions you're putting into the game are necessarily fixing anything and instead creating again more problems in other areas the problem is steel ward the problem is that there's no penalty to jading the problem is that this card is way too broken especially at lower levels so why are we doing things like glancing over it not actually doing anything else to fix the problem like unbanning shift so that fires don't spam this card a billion times why are we doing things like banning tc heals instead of actually implementing the aforementioned penalties that you guys have for healing why are we doing things like mentioning on stream that the actual solution to making steel ward not broken is limiting how many towers and other said tc that you can actually put in your deck when you're not giving us any more main deck room to account for the heals that we now can't put inside and really by the way all that is really doing when you're limiting or uh, i'm sorry banning tc heals from being able to be put inside is you're actually discouraging people from using a life mastery for anything other than the rochambeaus which 
in my opinion, all life has is shield removal. So it's not really that big of a revolution uh, to use a life mastery anymore. You, you don't have the effectiveness of healing. Now you have to stash all of your heals in main, you know, with the already little space that we have. You know, certain schools, yes, they can run a small deck. But not every school can run a small deck. A lot of schools have to pack things like Infection. And at, at higher levels, right, at 90, it's not so much of a thing. But you have to pack not only Infections, but maybe Doom and Glooms and Trifold Fevers. And all of this stuff crams the deck. And I know you're not going to give us more deck space. So why are we creating quote-unquote solutions to problems that end up, you know, ultimately creating more problems that I strongly think are going to get glanced over. And it's literally aggravating to the community because we already have things like the crit and block system, which I'm not really gonna spend too much time on, but my main point is that it kills low level PVP. It creates a glass cannon meta at any level under 80 pretty much. And I know that 60 is still trying to revive itself, but. The crit and block system for any of the beginner intermediate levels is absolutely atrocious. And the reason why I'm not going to spend too much time on it is because I do think that Matnetic is going to hopefully do a good job on the gear audit update. And hopefully it fixes a lot of the crit versus block uh, percentages and interactions to where it's not super broken. But another thing I want to talk about while we're on the topic of crazy glass cannon and damage outputs is the fact that damage caps, the damage cap update of 125 was a blanket across all levels. Now the idea of a damage cap, absolutely amazing. But the fact that it was blanketed as 125 across all levels of ranked PVP was why? That That's that's literally all I have to say, like why? I know Magnetic on Twitter was talking about actually making it so that damage and resist would effectively come later as you know being fine-tuned to certain levels or in my opinion it should be tiers right uh ultimately i think that is what really should determine at what actual integer you can actually go up to before you actually start losing points of damage for going over and i can't harp on this enough but i really 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 need to push on the fact that this needs to happen because if you guys end up pushing fifth age while glancing over all of these other problems right and salamander isn't just a problem at low level it's being spammed at max with glass cannon strategies and even though the the, the damage cap is 125 you know pierce insurance is still a thing and all this other stuff and you know shrike and and infow and all of that is made worse at lower level as of right now and you know with the lack of health right at max you can get like 10k plus on certain schools you know that's basically halved and then some at lower levels of pvp it's absolutely ridiculous the spell just does way too much damage but we need to have some sort of counter some sort of fix some sort of eyes on these problems because the fifth age comes right you're effectively going to have all of these people come back and realize that the problems that we're previously affecting why people aren't getting back into PvP or quit PvP in the first place are still here. And it's going to ruin the new things that you guys end up adding to the game. And I know this because I've been hearing players talk about this. I've been feeling this way and it's getting really hard to, you know, continue to log on this game and look forward to good PvP when problems like this are, you know, again, having solutions added that don't fix the core of the problem. And I think that this needs to stop. I don't think that Ratbeard's endgame PvP is necessarily the, the PvP that people want to play. That is going to be the most fun at the end of the day. And that is all that I really want to bring to the table. Because I know you said that I'm not family friendly enough to be on a KI Live roundtable, whatever. That's all fine. I, at the end of the day, I really don't see how that's possible with the things that you were talking about on stream. With the whole, like, you know, swearing thing, you know, untimely swearing, things like that, which um, I, I don't t really agree with because, you know, that's already a thing with some of the people that have already appeared on roundtables. So that, that's, you know, kind of crazy to me. But um, I still think that, you know, I need to voice these things 
because the lower level PvP community is not being focused on as much as the max. And even some of the changes and problems going on in the game are affecting Max, and some of the quote-unquote solutions aren't doing anything to fix Max's case either. Anyways, though, I have been rambling on a lot. Basically, the consensus of this video is please, 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 let's change this, uh, you know, exception that just because it is good in your head, Ratbeard, just because it is balanced and, you know, makes sense in your head doesn't really mean... Um, you know, ultimately it is good for the longevity and entertainment value uh, of the game in terms of ranked PvP. And also I, I strongly think that, um, if everybody is complaining about one particular thing, uh, that it is, you know, promoting lame gameplay, it's unfun, it's cr making people quit the game, things like that. Uh, I strongly think that we take another look at these things or maybe create other avenues to approach these things such as, you know, Infernal Salamander, maybe you can unban Shift if you're super adamant on the card being super balanced, even though a lot of, even though over half the community would disagree with you, um, things like that. So, please, 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 uh, fix Steel Ward, fix Jading, consider solutions to Salamander because it is seriously causing people to quit, it is creating lame gameplay, it's not fun in the slightest for people that are abusing uh, these strategies and um, before I actually end the video I do want to extend a personal and public uh, thank you to Ratbeard and uh, more importantly Eric or Max I'm not really sure how you want to be addressed publicly but um, thank you for listening to my concerns about the now banned item cards that were effectively ruining um, you know the entertainment value and the integrity of low-level PvP a lot of people were quitting over it it was literally ruining low-level PvP like entirely and I know a lot of people are super salty a lot of people have a lot to say about you know oh I can't use my Arctic Zell anymore but um, you know small complaints from people who probably can't gain rank without those strategies aside please do not bring these back I know you thought you guys community manager was talking about bringing these back probably in response to a lot of people being you know upset please do not bring these back even if the DPP was changed even if slash win um, damage cap gets based on level or tier, I don't think these cards have a balanced place in the meta. It might be a conversation for later, but I, as far as I can see right now, um, they, they do not. So please, please keep them banned. Uh, and that is pretty much all that I have to say in this video. Thank you for actually listening to my concerns. Let's get some of the major problems and the minor problems addressed. And that's pretty much all I have to say in this video. Thank you for watching. Happy New Year's. And of course, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.